On the northern edge of Kabul, a fight for bread among people newly arrived at a food distribution that quickly turns into a free-for-all. This open piece of land has become a makeshift camp for people who have nowhere else to go and very little for shelter. I have two children with me, this woman tells us, out in the open sun all day. New arrivals are encouraged to take buses to temporary camps for internally displaced people, or IDPs, that already exist from previous phases of this decades-long conflict. The makeup of the IDP population in Kabul reflects the changing state of the conflict beyond the city limits. Until relatively recently, most of the IDPs would be from the south, escaping the ongoing fighting there. But now they're being joined by newcomers from the west, unlike these people from the north, as this conflict has spread across the country. Mohan Pachar and his family of 10 have been here for three days after fleeing the fighting in the northern province of Baglan. There is no system here and no shelter. There is nothing from the government and I don't know if we'll get help. More fortunate arrivals can find refuge in mosques. In the grounds of this one, there are 37 families. Other people find room with relatives, like Begum Jam and her husband, who escaped the southern city of Lashkagar. There were bombs falling all around my house, to the left and to the right. I didn't know what was going on. Having worked for both the government and overseas aid organizations, she's afraid she's now a target for the Taliban. I had a good life there. I was thankful to God. I don't know if I can ever go back. It's a dilemma facing many from all parts of Afghanistan with the one goal of getting to Kabul, but not knowing what happens after that. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Kabul.